Hello, everybody, and welcome to our very first consciousness class here on the Global Illumination Council. This is going to be a very um, extended series. This is called the Circle of Divine Light Consciousness Class Series, and we're very happy to bring it to you here on the Global Illumination Council. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to do again for a while. Uh, we have been uh, getting a lot of requests to go back to uh, doing a little more classes and uh, posting them uh, freely, of course. What I'm going to do with uh, all of you this evening, thank you all for joining us, is we are going to talk a little bit about what are the consciousness classes what are you going to what are you going to experience where are we going with this and what we're going to do is we're going to take a short break after the introduction and we'll come back and start our very first uh, class which is going to be an introduction to quantum meditation uh, for those of you that know my work we do a lot of quantum meditation and have for many years and i find that it's a very easy way of going and getting into a meditative and trance state. So without further ado, let's talk a little bit about uh, consciousness classes. What are you going to be, what are you going to be experiencing? Um, where are we going with this? What can you expect from us uh, as uh, the GIC and myself as Bernard Alvarez? Well, first of all, I want to let you know that we are going to be doing this class every Tuesday at 5 p.m. at this time. If you are watching us live, know that you will we will be here live every Tuesday at 5 p.m. The classes will be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours, uh, depending on the subject matter, depending on the interaction of the viewers. I know that many of you may be watching this uh, on YouTube or on DVD, and um, I'm sorry you can't interact with us live at this point, but eventually technology will help us with that. But until then, uh, let me be uh, very clear that the only ones that can really interact uh, with me or with the instructor of the day are going to be the members uh, of the uh, Global Illumination Council, and it'll be done through chat. So what I'm going to ask now for everybody, and I see a little interaction going on right now, is um, instead of asking everybody not to interact on the chat, what I'd like to suggest to everyone watching this live on the, on the uh, on KIC TV as it's happening, if you have a question, all you have to do is click on the icon that says the GIC.org and click start private chat. That will be able to send a, a question directly to me and or the instructor of the day. So if you are watching this live and you want to be interactive, you want to ask questions, get more detail as to the subject matter that we're discussing during these classes, I'm gonna ask you to please click on the GIC.org um, icon there in the chat where it says members online on the bottom right and it should say start private chat. And so when you do have a question or need someone to expand a little bit on the subject matter, please do so that way. It'll make it a lot easier and it gives us the opportunity to allow the, uh, the main chat to continue and let everybody interact and say hi and, and have side discussions, which is fine. So as you, are, as you are gonna be participating in these classes, it's very helpful to have a notebook. Uh, I know that many of you may have already uh, uh, started your spiritual notebook, your diary, your journal. Uh, for those of you involved in uh, Wicca or Paganism, you might have your Book of Shadows, and that's wonderful. By all means, um, the only thing I do ask is that take down notes. And what I mean by taking down notes, notes means scribbling a topic and going back and filling in the rest. If you hear a sentence and you're busy writing, you know, an 18 word sentence, you're going to miss what's being said. So make sure you take like, you know, a three to 10 word note and leave it at that. You can always go back to it and expand on it. But by all means, you know, grab a notebook and make sure that you get to highlight um, your topics as well. For those of us um, here live, 
and or that are members of the GIC, you are you have the ability to join the Global Illumination. I'm sorry, the Circle of Divine Light series group here, and you can post your question after the classes, and have a discussion with your fellow classmates to get a little bit more expansion on the particular topic. What we're trying to do here, even though this is very casual, even though this is uh, going to be a lot of information, I want to make sure that everyone has the ability to, to follow through and get a little more, a little more advice, a little more direction. Uh, I personally will not be able to join. On occasion, I will join the, uh, the Circle of Divine Light Consciousness um, discussions, but uh, my job is here right now with you and talking to you live and answering your questions live. Uh, for those of you that are watching this on YouTube or on DVD, I'm going to suggest that you do join uh, the Global Illumination Council at the GIC.org and join the Consciousness Classes group. That way you have an ability to bounce ideas off each other. Again, we are going to be covering topics, like I said this evening, we're going to start with um, the basics of quantum meditation. Uh, depending on the time, I'm not sure how we're going to do it. Uh, well, it's still early. We're just starting. I love this. Uh, we'll hopefully be able to do two energy um, uh, works. As well, I want to remind everybody that, um, you know, we are going to be covering topics in a non-denominational stance. I have no intention of turning this into a Druid circle or a Wicca circle or a Pagan circle. But I will say, uh, many, many people may be wondering where uh, the term the Circle of Divine Light comes from. And I'm going to tell you the Circle of Divine Light was the name of my coven. And uh, we had about seven covens uh, running at once uh, for a while there. And uh, as and this is in the early 90s, early 90s, late 90s. And that's the reason why I chose the name again, because I want this to be like you're sitting here with me in my living room. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my house. You are sitting here with me live. We're discussing things casually. We are going to participate and do um, exercises together. We're going to share knowledge together. And uh, that was the whole intention behind choosing that name, Circle of Divine Light. Welcome to my home. And I look forward to all of us um, learning from each other and, and carrying on this idea of consciousness. And again, the word consciousness for me is very important in these days as we have just gone through uh, a very strange period of humanity and of history. Uh, we have moved beyond the realm of labels. We have moved beyond the realm of, uh, for me, uh, religious affiliation. I, I respect religion, but I also feel that uh, within our heart is about connecting with our divine self and connecting to our higher selves. And that is why I am using the word consciousness. So it's very important that I, I convey this to everyone. This is non-denominational. We will be uh, learning different techniques. We'll be learning different uh, rituals even from religions around the world and practices and traditions. I feel it's important for all of us to really just uh, participate, choose what works for you and allow yourself to align and listen to your intuition. This works, this doesn't work. I like that, I don't like that. I'm gonna do this again, I'm not gonna do that again. That is a very big aspect of what we're doing here today and what we're gonna be doing with this series. Um, Again, this series is going to be very, it's going to be weekly. So for those of you that are here live, I ask you to please, you know, if there is a point where you need to ask questions, ask the questions. Um, as well as those of you uh, watching on YouTube, it's wonderful because you can rewind and start over, you know, start that sentence over, or whatnot. As well as with the DVD. But anyway, um, I'm very happy that you guys are here with me. I'm very happy that um, I, I feel comfortable enough now to, to do this on a live aspect. And I think, you know, when we did the first series, uh, gosh, it was almost two years ago. I think it'll be two years ago this month. 
that we did the last Circle of Divine Light series, I, it felt that it needed to be pre-recorded. I needed to, you know, go scan through it again, make sure it was presentable and whatnot. But here we are together, live, very intimately, very connected, and uh, able to talk to each other while this is happening. And I love technology for that reason. So again, uh, you know, relax, let your hair down, um, grab some water or whatever it is uh, that uh, uh, works for you. But however, please, um, we're going to be covering some major topics. Besides um, the quantum meditation this evening, I, I will say that one of the goals that I have in store for this particular series, and I talk about this very often, is the ability to communicate with your higher self. Um, many, many mystics, many esoteric people, uh, very uh, you know, enlightened, illuminated people have always spoken that the goal is to communicate with your higher self. And I feel that that will be one of the goals that we have uh, for this particular series. Uh, we'll be using different methods, we'll be using different techniques from around the world to be doing that. So without further ado, let me let me get let me cut to the chase uh, for everyone watching and for everyone participating in the series, whether it be live, archived, or on DVD. Um, what I'd like you to do now is uh, please, you know, get yourself a notebook, uh, do yourself a favor, and um, turn off your cell phone. Uh, what I would like to recommend uh, to everyone, and I know it might be too late uh, for today's presentation is I've always recommended that you do not eat anything heavy two hours before, two to three hours before a class. Um, I find that when, you, when, you're, when your stomach and your belly is full, all the blood is going into your belly and you may not be able to do the energy work as easily as you might if you have the blood in your brain. Remember, we're talking about consciousness. So you may want to consider uh, next week, uh, you know, refrain from eating anything heavy. I, we are presenting this live on a particular time because it's, it's uh, before dinner for a lot of people and it's after dinner for a lot of people. Um, I, I apologize for, you know, the East Coast. We're right at dinner. But um, hold out, you know, hold out if you can. It's very important that you're not weighed down. Uh, we want to ground after the work. We don't want to be grounded before the work. So that'll be my first suggestion to you. As well, um, when you are preparing to participate in these classes, I would suggest um, washing up a little bit. And what I mean by that, and, and not to get too ceremonial or get too traditional, but acknowledge the fact you're about to participate in something that is dealing with your higher self, that is dealing with your spirit, even if that means washing your hands and your face. Um, some people go as far as taking a ritual bath. Some people go as far as uh, changing their clothes. Whatever it is that works for you, know that you're going into a place that is not necessarily of the norm, of the day-to-day -day grind. You want to give it some type of precedence. You want to give it some type of acknowledgement even on a subconscious level, that you are moving into a place of spirituality and a place of energetic realms. So I understand that a lot of people find tradition to be silly, but I know that many of us don't. And that is a tradition that is used throughout the world. So if you have the opportunity um, every week, wash your hands, wash your face, you know, put a little patchouli oil on your wrist, <laughs> whatever works for you. Put on your pagan robes if you have them. Why not? But uh, let's make this fun and let's make this sacred and let's make this something that is going to really feed our spirit and really make us feel as if not only are we connected together because of this broadcast, not only are we connected together because of the group, but we are connected together because we understand our spirit is connected together. And that's what it comes down to. Last but not least, I just want to let everybody know that um, uh, I, I just want to remind everyone that is participating in the live uh, the live version of this class. Please only post personal chat to me uh, as a question. Um, I I don't want to get caught up. I'm watching everybody 
uh, speaking on the chat, and I think it's wonderful. But please don't chat with me with during the, the series. It's very distracting. Please be very to the point. Uh, say what you need to know. What do I need to know? Let's say I just did, um, or I just shared something on what is quantum meditation. And you're like, well, I don't get that. Can you expand on that? Please keep it one line. Uh, I'm not here to chat with you. I'm here to, 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 to educate you at this point. We can always chat uh, when, I'm, when I'm not doing this and I'm on, I'm on the network. So by all means, uh, please keep your questions focused and direct and to the point, okay? I really appreciate that, thank you. Anyway, um, we are, oh, I, I'm sorry. I have one more thing I want to say to everybody. Um, and, rem and remind everybody is that um, before we go on break, we're going to take a short break in just a few moments. But uh, let everybody know that, you know, every week, if you are going to participate, I'm looking forward to everyone participating. Be prepared for at least an hour. Uh, give yourself the flexibility of two hours. Uh, we will be doing it every week at this particular time. And again, um, the topics will be will not be announced. It will not be announced because, quite honestly, I don't know where where we're going with this. Because if someone needs help with uh, with Reiki work or tarot work or um, energy work, and that becomes the focus of the discussion of the class, we're going to work on that. So you need to also tell me what it is that you're lacking, what it is that you would like to see. Uh, during this series uh, for you know many of you know pretty much who I am what I've been doing but I guess this is the point where I need to introduce myself I hate doing that we don't have a an announcer to do that for me tonight <clears throat> but um, my name is Bernard Alvarez I have been a practicing uh, magical practitioner for geez how old am I now <laughs> I, I don't know my whole life uh, I've been initiated since I was in my early 20s I've been a Reiki master for almost 20 years. Um, I've been a teacher for over 20 years. I've uh, been published, uh, TV shows, radio shows. Uh, if this is your first class, you really don't know who I am. Thank God there's technology. You can Google me. <laughs> but um, this, is, this is not new to me. I really enjoy teaching, and I look forward uh, to sharing my, my experience with you. This is work that I've been doing for over 20 years now. And we have the ability to share all this knowledge. And you know what? I think that's the most important thing I could say tonight is that that is the reason why the GIC was started. Uh, the GIC was started to share the information that no one else was sharing, uh, whether it be political, geo, you know, geopolitical. For me, it was about consciousness work. And I'll use that term today. I may not have used it five years ago. But today, it's about the consciousness work that was, was kept hidden and was kept in small groups and um, was not necessarily used for good. Now we have the opportunity to share it publicly and use it for good. So we're going to take a very short break, a uh, four-minute break, and we'll be right back with the beginning of the consciousness series. If you have any questions... Please post them in the chat, and I will do my best uh, to answer them after the break. I will see you in approximately four minutes, and uh, we'll take it from there. So welcome, and I look forward to, um, to working with you guys throughout the weeks, months, years, whatever, however, however long this lasts. <laughs> anyway, take care, and I'll be right back in, like I said, we'll be back in about five, four minutes, I'm sorry.